I'm here today with Randy Scott. He's the CEO and President for Rare Element Resources. Randy, how are you today? I'm doing great, Tracy. Thanks for having me on. Randy, it's our pleasure, especially with your stock nearly doubling here in the last couple of weeks. Can you tell us what you think might be the inspiration for your stock movement? You think the investors are finally realizing you're one of the best market valuations to invest in currently? Well, obviously, we're very excited about the movement that the stock has uh, demonstrated for us over the last two, two and a half weeks. Uh, I think it's a combination of a number of different things. Obviously, the market appears to be uh, turning around. Uh, rare earth uh, metals prices are improving as well. And uh, we've had some good news out with regards to our permitting and our memorandum of understanding moving us forward with the Forest Service. And of course, as a leader in the rare earth sector, let's start with your most recent big news, substantial news, would be, of course, your environmental impact statement that you're getting right, that you're currently preparing. Can you give us a bit of a background on this? You bet. We've, we've been able to, uh, back in May, we announced that we had uh, assigned a, uh, that the Forest Service had actually approved what's called the Memorandum of Understanding uh, for the project, for the Bear Lodge project. And then just recently, uh, I'm sorry, the Forest Service had approved uh, the plan of operations for, for the uh, uh, Bear Lodge project. And then just recently, we announced that we had signed a memorandum of understanding with the Forest Service. And that essentially starts the environmental impact statement. Uh, we're moving forward with the uh, selection of the primary contractor, and, as well as uh, uh, developing the uh, set of, uh, of uh, memorandum of understanding uh, procedures and processes in conjunction with the Forest Service for the EIS. Okay, for some of our investors that may be from the technology sector, for instance, new to the resource that are crossing over for rare earths, can you tell us a little bit more about what this environmental impact statement will mean once you have it completed? Yeah, it's, it's, our, it's our approval from uh, the Forest Service. Obviously, uh, the uh, Bear, Bear Lodge uh, resource is located on public lands and as a requirement for the public lands uh, permitting process uh, in the United States you have to develop an environmental impact statement. Uh, once you have the environmental impact statement and the approval from the state of Wyoming to go ahead and mine, uh, then you can begin to develop and, and operate the property. So clearly you have uh, institutional investors interested. We know that you have one of the largest followings of any of the top five players in the rare earth sector. Can you give our audience an overview on Bear Lodge and what's happening there right now? Sure, that's great. We've been extremely busy over the last several months. Uh, we have made uh, quite a bit of progress and we expect to uh, make some substantial progress yet even in the, in the next month or two or three. Uh, first of all, uh, we uh, announced that we had uh, started drilling on the resource at uh, at the Whitetail Ridge deposit earlier this year. Whitetail Ridge, as you'll recall, is the heavy rare earth enriched uh, resource that is adjacent to the main Bull Hill high grade zone. The drilling on that uh, Whitetail resource is now complete and we're compiling the information uh, from drilling that resource as well. But that's not all because we also identified or announced that we were going to extend the drilling program in, in 2013 to include uh, further delineation of what we call the main Bull Hill high grade zone. Uh, we're, we're very encouraged by some of the early trade off studies that we've seen and some of the resource estimates uh, and mine plans that uh, seem to indicate that we will be able to uh, mine a high grade zone for a period, uh, extended period of years. And so we wanted to further delineate that as part of uh, the uh, drilling program this year. And, and, and that drilling program is ongoing now and, and hopefully will be complete by the end of October sometime. So Randy, you've just answered the question I wanted to ask you because I'm constantly clarifying for our audience that actually rare element resources does have heavy rare earths. So can I just get you to back up and give us just a, a one minute overview on what you actually have and I'd like to clarify some of this uh, misinformation once and for all. Sure Tracy, uh, we refer to ourselves as a world-class critical rare earth uh, uh, resource now, a critical rare earth district now. And, and what that means uh, for us anyway is that when you look at 
the elements of neodymium, praseodymium, europium, terbium, dysprosium, uh, that we, in fact, uh, are going to generate over 80% of our revenue uh, from those elements in the project, uh, and those will be the drivers from an economic perspective. In addition to the resource update, Randy, would you mind giving us an overview on what else Rare Element Resources has been up to? Because we're certainly hearing a lot on the grapevine. Sure, Tracy. One of the important things that happened uh, to us earlier this year uh, was that we were able to confirm with independent laboratories the proprietary uh, oxalate process technology that we have developed. Uh, that was done back in, in the May-June time frame. Uh, and we've immediately moved that uh, bench scale uh, confirmation into pilot plant testing. And that pilot plant testing now has been ongoing for uh, three months, two months, two and a half months right now, and uh, is still ongoing, and we expect to complete it sometime in the next uh, couple weeks. Did I hear that right? That's actually very exciting, Randy. The pilot plant testing, you're expecting to complete this in the next couple of weeks. Is that correct? Yeah, in the next couple of weeks, uh, we should uh, uh, have all the data in hand. Uh, obviously, there's a tremendous amount of analysis that needs to be uh, done regarding that data that we've been collecting. Randy, thank you for joining us today.